What is up everyone? I'm Financial Coach Jess and welcome back to my channel. This video has been in my notes for a while because I saw that there were some updates made to FCMT since I did my first review of the program several years ago. Keep in mind, I'm not going to repeat the things that I said in that video, so please, please, please watch that video first and it'll actually help this video make way more sense and give you more context. I also really wanna advise you not to make a decision about FCMT or my Become a Coach program until the end of the video. Sometimes people comment halfway through when I answer their question later on in the video. So watch all the way through. Here are the new things that have been added to the course since I went through it in 2019. There are three new lessons, the coaching model, building a story brand, and fanatical prospecting. They've also added group coaching, the My Practice tab, and bonus materials. Let's start with the pros because there are a lot of new positive changes that have been added to the program. In the new lessons, I found myself agreeing with a lot of the coaching principles that were presented, like you've got to help your clients find their why, always meet with married couples together when you're doing financial coaching. Chris Hogan's really big on like, empathetic listening and, and really hearing the heart of your client, finding their motivation, um, a lot of like emotional connection, which is so important when you're dealing with money. And they finally recommended virtual coaching. Some big beef that I had in my last video was that FCMT as a whole was very behind the times when it came to virtual coaching and just technology in general, and they've really made a lot of massive strides in that area. A great example of this is that there's now a tab that has a CRM attached, and you can use this to keep track of prospects as well as current clients. It's nice to have all of this info in the same place and organized for reference. The downside to this setup is that you are manually entering in everything, manually sending every email. And it doesn't look like this CRM integrates with any other apps or sites, which means that a huge chunk of your time is going to be spent manually entering in their name, their phone number, email, sending that welcome email every single time. In my Become a Coach program, I love integrations and automations, and I walk you through as a coach how to set all this up so that you aren't spending your time with data entry. I just want you to keep in mind that when your business grows, you will outgrow this feature. Even though it's free and included, it just comes down to, do you wanna get set up in something that integrates and has automations, or do you want to transfer to something like that a couple years down the road? The next new feature that fell into the pro category for me was the group coaching scheduler. And I think you can book these whenever. There wasn't like a whole lot of information, but I did really like that you can book them by your current revenue so that you'll be in the call with other people that are in similar places in their business. Of course, I can't vouch for the quality of the call itself. And in my previous video that I did, I talked about the group coaching calls and how it was not beneficial for me. And it was actually kind of awkward being uh, in a more competitive call like that, but that very well could be different now. The last big pro that I have are the bonus materials. Some of the topics that are within the bonus materials are an immense improvement. Under the development tab in the launch plan, there are structured walkthroughs of tools like Calendly, Dropform, PayPal, Zoom, MailChimp, and a Facebook page setup. This was a huge hole that they had in the program before, and although this list is not comprehensive of the tools that you can use in an online business, I was so happy to see that they added a lot of content around the business of being a financial coach. I loved this content so much, I was honestly a little bit shocked that it was off the beaten path. I really wish they would have put it in like the main content section. Uh, it's almost like they're afraid to like 100% fully commit that financial coaching is a viable online business. They still say in a lot of the lessons, like if you charge or if you want to open this as a business, but this is still a huge improvement and I'm so glad that they're making steps in this direction. On to the cons of the program. So first big con is actually the organization of the content itself. And I actually harped on this in my last video and I think the new content has made it even more convoluted. I'm not even sure where to begin. Like the coaching instructions are everywhere, but also nowhere. It's instructions like talk to people, post content, have sales calls, make a website, and I'm waiting for the how-to part to start and it just never does. A glaring example of this is the consultation. In lesson three, Chris Hogan talks about the consultation 
and tells you to ask good questions, listen to what they say, but never specifics. And this is such a miss because the consultation, the sales call in the very beginning, this determines whether or not that person becomes a client and their entire life can be changed and it's usually the most intimidating part for both parties when you're just starting out. And that's why in my Become a Coach program, I actually give you a sales call script to walk you through the different parts of the call and what you want to get out of each part and how to make them feel comfortable and how to help them open up. And when you're just starting out like that rigid structure really gives you confidence. And later on down the road, you can make it your own and you can tweak this and that. But when you're just starting out, it's just so helpful to have something like that before you that you know is proven to work. So back to the consultations within the content, it gets even more confusing. Consultations are also covered in the new client creation series in the bonus content. It's also covered in the boot camp lessons. And there's another video about consultations under the launch plan. And the consultation is so important. And yet there's all these different videos in different places talking about the consultation and giving you a pep talk about the consultation, but no real concrete plan. And here's my theory, because for the content to be so convoluted, it just doesn't make sense for Ramsey Solutions not to see this. And here's my theory, not confirmed, Chris Hogan does a lot of the content within FCMT, which is kind of weird already. Like that alone makes it feel dated because he's been gone for a while. And so since they can't have him redo or update or add any other videos to the program, they're adding all these other videos to the bonus content to try and fill in the gaps that they find the coaches are having. But by doing this, by piecing it all together, it comes off very disorganized and not like a cohesive step-by-step -step program. And honestly, as I was navigating the site and looking at the content, it's like this lesson is over here, but it also ties into this lesson over here and it overlaps with that, but also he says something about it. And it's like, we really need to just overhaul the entire program and make it step-by-step -step and have it be recorded by like one or maybe two people. And that really leads me to my next big con and that's they have so many people within this program teaching this stuff and almost none of them have recent experience in a successful online coaching business. They bring in big names, Dave Ramsey, of course, Chris Hogan, Donald Miller, Jeb Blunt, but have any of these people actually built an online coaching business? This is a valid question and it makes me think that they have to stay broad and vague and they have to keep bringing in big names because they truly don't know the nuanced hurdles that an online financial coach is going to have in their business in 2024 and beyond. The next big con, and this one breaks my heart, is lesson 13, building a story brand with Donald Miller. And let me tell you, when I saw that they had brought Don Miller into the program, I was pumped. I have been a Donald Miller fan since high school, reading Blue Like Jazz. I've read all his books. I would fangirl so hard if I met him someday. Anyway, so I was so excited. I click into the lesson, I hit play, and he starts talking about if you confuse, you lose. Talking about messaging to prospective clients. And I'm like, wait a minute, where have I heard that before? How have I heard that? I've never watched this lesson before. And I bought and read his book, Building a Story Brand in 2018. And my face just fell. I was like, wait, no, is he just gonna talk about all the stuff that he talked about in his book? And sure enough, that's what he did. Granted, he does a great job condensing an entire book into about an hour's worth of content, but the book is so much better. The book is always better. And long story short, the other new lesson is Jeb Blunt basically doing the same thing with his book, which I'd also read several years ago, and that is fanatical prospecting. And if FCMT could be summed up in one big miss, I think it would be that. Just repurposing content and knitting it together does such a disservice to the people that are paying thousands of dollars for this course. I mean, those books are like 15 bucks and they're so much better than the 60 minute excerpt that you get within the program. At one point, oh, I could have died. Donald Miller even says, well, 
you can read more about this in my book or something like that. And they didn't even edit that out. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is such a slap in the face. Moving on, I wanted to give a quick update on the forms. So this was a big issue I had in my last video too, is that all they give you to work with your clients on are PDFs. So you can't change them to fit your client's need. You can't make them your own within your business. Everything they give you is PDF. It cannot be changed. And the update to give you guys is that they are now fillable PDFs. And this is unfortunately another huge miss with FCMT is that if you don't use their materials with their branding, you are making everything from scratch. And that is so overwhelming. And there's really no reason for this. I know in my Become a Coach program, I try to give my coaches as much as I can so that they don't have to waste their time reinventing the wheel. The whole reason that someone would invest in a program like this is to save time and have a step-by-step -step proven process to success. On the flip side, I was astonished in one of the videos I was listening to, they instructed their coaches to simply curate content. And what they mean by curate is to reshare and repost content that is created by Ramsey Solutions. And here's my question for you with this. Does this really teach people how to start and grow an online coaching business? And the bottom line is growing an online business, really making this your full-time job is a lot of hard work. When I was doing weekly YouTube videos, it was exhausting coordinating with my editor, coming up with video ideas, making thumbnails, making descriptions, looking up keywords. There's stuff that goes into this video that you guys could not even imagine, things that you don't even know about. And they're suggesting just to repost content. It's insulting to me as a financial coach, but I also think it's insulting to the people that are going to see the curated content. It sends the message that unique content is overrated and people aren't worth it anyway. And I think FCMT has a lot of this content stuff backward. The stuff that makes your business you, you have to create. You know, I can help you tee it up, but ultimately the YouTube videos, TikToks, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, whatever, that is going to be you. That's what makes your business unique. On the other hand, the welcome emails, the sales call scripts, the checkout pages, the more behind the scenes admin stuff, that's the stuff that you don't really need to reinvent the wheel. This is ultimately a ginormous difference between FCMT and my Become a Coach program. In Become a Coach, I go over all kinds of social media outlets, including YouTube, and how to set that up, my four content pillars, how to batch content and drip it out over a couple of weeks or months. Click the link below to watch my 60 minute free pricing workshop, and you can hear more about my coaching philosophy and get a feel for my program. Last con of the updated stuff within FCMT, and this was kind of a big one for me. So as I was going through the website, a pop-up kept coming up and it said this, it said, sign up to lead a Financial Peace University class. It's a great way to make connections and find new clients. And this struck me as kind of manipulative because Ramsey Solutions is funneling coaches through Financial Peace University to pick up clients at FPU, and yet they're advertising FPU to people and people are paying for FPU, not necessarily knowing that coaching is then going to be the upsell. I try to distance myself from anything that sounds under the table or sketchy, and so this kind of rubbed me the wrong way, and I just wanted to bring it to light to you guys too. So those were my major pros and cons as I went through all the updates of FCMT, and I hope that this was helpful for you guys as you're making a decision about FCMT and my Become a Coach program. Don't forget, you can watch my free pricing workshop with the link below, and I will see you guys in the next one. 